So my name is Axel Cruz. I am 30 years old and I am a theater maker. This fall at HCC, I get the amazing opportunity to work with the students here and direct the main stage production of Jesus Hot Theater Train uh, for the fall. So I started theater when I was 14 was the first time that I was on stage. Um, I've always loved theater. I've always wanted to be a, a performance artist or something to do with art in itself. I've always loved the arts. So it wasn't until I was 14 at Holyoke Community, not Holyoke Community College, at Holyoke High School, where I did Grease. That was my first production ever. And then from then on, I haven't stopped really. <laughs> Oh man, I think, I've always said this, as an actor you get to create a world with your own character. As a director you create the world that the characters play. And I love that. I think that it is always so fun to really understand a character as they are from the actor's perspective. But as a director I get to make these rules in some sense for these characters to just play along. To be able to do what they want to do but I have that power. <laughs> and not just the power, but that creative, um, the creative thought of it. I think for me, it's so much fun to say that here is this beautiful place to be. Go mingle and play. Okay, so I directed a few plays here, one act plays at HCC, and I very much enjoyed it, but it wasn't until um, I actually became an, ass uh, an assistant uh, director at UMass um, that I started seeing the directing through a different lens, right? Um, and then once I got out of UMass with my bachelor, I started directing more and more. And that's when I really realized that acting for me is fun, but directing is just so much there's so much more to do when you're directing there's so much more to think about there's so much more uh directions to head and you really are the guiding person to what happens in the production i, I think that i just love that idea of just being able to lead people into the same conclusion to same to the same vision of what something should look like i actually didn't fall in love with jesus hop the a train really until i started getting more into directing that I started realizing the uh, intricacy of the play and understanding character development and seeing the beautiful character development that happened with a lot of the characters and where one starts and where one ends. There is a lot of things that I love about Jesus Hop the A Train. Um, from most of the characters, I think the characters are just so interesting in the sense of none of them choose to well, none of them chose to be there, that's the first place. So when you put characters in places that conflict with who they are, that to me already starts a really great place. And now we have these characters fighting to survive. And I think with Jesus Hop the A-Train, I think the what makes this place so important, in my opinion, to the world is that people are, again, able to see a play that starts in one thought and ends at another that growth of character development, that growth of the conflict, figuring out what is the conflict, did we, did we sort of pass the conflict, or are we still stuck in the conflict? And having those questions, which also, in my opinion, also makes a great play. A play that makes you have many, many questions at the end. We don't need answers, we make our own answers. The audience should be leaving with many, many questions. Something that's very important that I think I, as a theater maker, and I hope that people who come see theater get out of the art form, is really that it changes the world. I very, very much believe that a smile, uh, a thought, uh, a, a movement, all of that changes perspective. I very much do believe that for us to come together in a theater space and being able to see the same play and all have a different perspective from the same play, uh, I think that that to me is so important. So really changing the world and changing perspective. I think that, that both of them put together create what is the beauty of theater. For me, the one of the biggest reasons why I do theater is really because I do strongly believe in the 
beauty and heart that theater brings out of people. And I'm not just saying the actors who are on stage, I'm also talking about myself as the director, I'm talking about the designers, I'm talking about the stage manager, and I'm talking about the audience. The When you go into a play, you're really looking to be moved and to follow this story that really changes, again, changes the way that you view life. And I think that that's why this play and doing theater is very important.